guys today we're going to showcase the state of mobile shielded wallets as of january 14th 2024 so we're going to start with funds and why wallet let's open that up now i sent over half a zec into the unified address as shown and now we're going to send it uh, a tenth of a sec to each of these three wallets. So we'll start with Nighthawk. Go ahead and copy the. Well, here, if you first load up the app, click on the top left corner. There's the little squares on the top left corner. Click that. And then it gives you the legacy shielded, the transparent, and the unified. So we'll use the newest. Unified address option available. Copy. We're going to paste this into Y Wallet. 0.1 Zec. And then in the memo, we'll go Y Wallet to, um, whoops, it is Nighthawk. Send, send, all right, there's our transaction ID, as soon as this confirms, we'll check the wallet. Looks like our transaction confirmed. Let's go into Nighthawk. And notice how it says expecting 0.1 Zec. I already had 0 0.0039 in the wallet itself. So let's click on the received. One confirmation. And notice how it still says pending. We'll have to let that confirm for a few more confirmations before that's spendable. Okay. Let's go back to Y Wallet. And then let this finish confirming a few more times and we can send our next transaction. All right, now we're gonna use Unstoppable. Let this sync up a bit. Going to receive. And notice with Unstoppable, as of right now, they only have the legacy shielded Z addresses. They do not have UAs as of yet. I'm thinking this will be updated shortly though. So we'll copy. Go back to our Y wallet, paste our Z address, and this will be Y wallet to unstoppable. Send privacy high. Transaction ID. And as soon as this confirms, we will check the unstoppable wallet. Okay, looks like our transaction confirmed. Let's go into our wallet. And notice we have a transaction of 0.1 zec it's locked what that means is um, looks like they just got to confirm before they can spend okay 
while that's confirming, let's go back to Nighthawk. And four confirmations, still not spendable. Probably within seven to ten confirmations, this will be available. And let's go back to Y Wallet. As soon as this hits three, see if we can send our transaction to Edge now. So we're going to go to Zach, receive, uh, Edge Wallet does support unified address, nice to see, copy, okay, we're going to go send. And this memo will be from Y Wallet to Edge. Okay, now notice how this is medium privacy. This has nothing to do with Edge, but rather my funds are coming out of Sapling and, or excuse me, uh, this, uh they're coming out of Orchard and going into Sapling. So since there's a change in pools, the privacy is medium. Um, I'm not sure that Edge supports Orchard as of yet, but that support is coming soon. Okay, let that confirm. Let's go into our Nighthawk. Looks like we're at five confirmations. Still expecting the point one to confirm. It's going to unstoppable. Still processing as well. Looks like both of these wallets need to have a certain amount of confirmations before they let you spend the funds. Yeah, see, it doesn't let you. Okay. Let's go back to Edge. Ooh, love the sound effects. I think that's the coolest way of receiving funds is through the some cool sound effects like that. And let me go back. It looks like Edge requires 10 confirmations. I like how they show you immediately how many confirmations are completed and how many are needed until you can spend the funds. And go back to Y Wallet. Synced up, history. So we got eight comps, four comps, and one comp. So we'll all come back once these are all confirmed. All right, guys, so we waited the 10 confirmations. So let's confirm all of our transactions are spendable now on the three wallets. Let me let this sync up. We got, there we go, 0.10 Zek ready to spend. Unstoppable. All right. Transaction received. I like how on Unstoppable it shows the historical rate. That's kind of cool. So let me send max yes okay 
edge. Let's let this sink. And it says it before it said one out of 10. Now it says received. So let's see here. Yes, looks like it lets us send it. So now we're gonna send those funds back to Y Wallet using the three wallets. So we'll go back up into Y Wallet. And first we'll try the UA, see if that works. Go to Nighthawk. We're gonna transfer, send money. And it tells you the max spendable is 0.10. So let's just do 0.10. Nighthawk to Y Wallet. Sending now. All right, transaction sent. Let's go to unstoppable. Send. Max. Paste. Looks like it does accept our UA. Next. Send. Transaction sent. And then the last edge will paste. Max. No, we'll do. I forgot to do a memo on Unstoppable. Edge. To Y Wallet. Confirm. I like the sliding option for sending. I like the sound effects as well. Okay. Now let's go into Y Wallet and look at our history. Looks like our first transaction has hit. Night walk to Y Wallet. One confirmation. Let's see if unstoppable. Still sending. Still pending as well. Okay. Let's let a few more blocks sync up. Oh, here we go. And history. All right. We got our Nighthawk, our Edge, and I forgot to write a memo for Unstoppable, but that's Unstoppable. Alright guys, I hope this has been educational. See you next time.